Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues on your iPhone or iPad specifically where your apps just keep crashing. So I'll go ahead and show you a couple ways to go and fix it. Starting off with our beloved iPhone. I don't know what's going on with my exposure. So starting off with our iPhone, the very first thing I always tell people is to first figure out which specific apps are crashing. Is it normal apps that you downloaded from the App Store, such as TikTok, Snapchat, Safari, whatever? Or is it apps that you downloaded a while ago that were, you know, kind of tweaked apps such as Delta, GBA for iOS, all these other apps. And if, if it's the latter, if it's these ones, then this is basically what I'll tell you. Delta, GBA for iOS, any of these apps that you go ahead and open like this and close like this, sometimes get revoked. Not even sometimes. Every time they get revoked, unless you're using All Store or something, pretty much it's going to go ahead and revoke every single time. So the only way to actually go ahead and fix this is to actually just go ahead, delete the app from your phone and re-download them once they're re-signed. So in this specific case, you know, there's a lot of things out there, App Valley, Tutu, Box, whatever the other ones are. You can go ahead and actually download those specific apps from those places, but you only you can only do it once they're re-signed. If you do it right now, it's obviously not going to work. I don't think they're re-signed. So that's the only way. You know, you can't regain the data that you had back in here. I think Fortnite as well is another one. Actually, this one may be good. As you can see, I do actually have Fortnite on here. But all these other apps like that that you downloaded from you know an alternative source such as this one, they're not going to open unless you re-download them from your specific spot. So in this case, going to TutuBox, going to App Valley may actually end up fixing it in and of itself. So that's the very first thing you can do in this case. Now let's say it's not an app like that, and let's say it's one of these apps, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever. But what you can do in this case, and what I would recommend doing, is to first of all delete the app that is you know messing up. So let's say in this case, Among Us is messing up for me. Well, what I would do is I would go ahead and delete this app. So go ahead and click delete app, click delete. And what you're going to have to do is go into your app store like this. And very easily, you're going to have to click here. And you're just going to have to search up that specific app that you want to go ahead and get. So go ahead and click Among Us or whatever app you wanted to use. Go ahead and re-download it. And you should be able to see at this point, the app will actually go ahead and re-download and it will be able to open for the most part. And typically, this ends up fixing it in and of itself. You go and click Open and the app should go ahead and open up and you know it'll be fixed and all that good stuff. It's, if it's still experiencing issues and if it's just one single app, then it may actually be just that app's problem and you're going to have to wait until they push out an update. Apps like TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that happens all the time. So you're just going to have to wait in for them to actually push out an update. So that's pretty much how to fix it on an iPhone. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to do it on an iPad. Now, as stated before, it's pretty much the same process, but I'll go ahead and explain it one more time in case I'm putting this on my third channel. So pretty much if your apps are crashing on your iPad, like I said, pretty much the same process, you want to determine which specific apps are crashing. You know, if they're, they're tweaked, blocked apps, or if they're tweaked apps or hacked apps or whatever, then those become, you know, revoked all the time. So in this specific case, I'm not too sure if I have any apps here that are tweaked or anything, but if you download like GBA for iOS, the Delta emulator, all those other methods, it, and you're using something other than on store those are going to get revoked all the time they get revoked like before a week you know what i mean so it's very annoying so if it's those apps that are crashing you have no choice but to wait out or to download another app or whatever a fix of those apps when the fix comes out or when they get resigned now as stated before if you're experiencing another issue where the specific apps are like snake versus blocks or apps that you download from the app store well, the way to fix this, as stated before, is actually pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete that specific app from your iPad. So let's say the, you know, Cube Runner app is being annoying. Well, what I would do is I would go and hold down here, and I would go ahead and delete the app completely. So hold down here, click Delete App, click Delete, and you will see that the, the specific app is, you know, deleted from my iPad. So what you want to do now is hop out of here, and you want to go into your App Store. So you want to make your way to your App Store. You want to go ahead and search for that specific app that we just deleted. I forgot these don't have the type swipe thing. You want to go and type in the whatever that app was. I think it was Cube Runner. I kind of forgot. And at this point, you just want to go ahead and re-download that app. So you want to go ahead and click download here. Wait for it to fully download. And then that is honestly pretty much it. Typically, this should end up fixing the problem. So now you can see I can go and get into Cube Runner. And I can go ahead and play it. Now, if you're still experiencing issues or whatever, then typically it's just an app-specific problem. If it's all your apps that are crashing, I'd recommend factory resetting your device, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. But if it's just a one app that's a problem, what you're going to have to do is pretty much just, you know, wait until that developer pushes out an update or a fix, and then pretty much move on from there. So that's pretty much how to do it, you guys.
If you have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.